Hi there folks, Andrea Cox with TheHealthyHaven.net, AndreaCox.com, and Alkalize with Andrea. And I'm here in my messy kitchen today, and I opened my fridge and I saw like 16 of these in there. And the reason there's 16 Young Thai coconuts in my fridge is because I drink the water from them all the time, at least one a day. And it dawned on me, you know, does my YouTube family know what to do with their young Thai coconut meat because let's face it, it's really healthy, it's full of a high quality fat that's really good for your hair, skin, and nails. Um, Antimicrobial, antifungal in the body, so it's really great for candida, but it is really fatty. So what I like to do, you can actually freeze coconut meat. Um, I'm scooping out the meat of one now and I'm gonna do a little recipe for you that I call turmeric roll-ups, and they are delicious. But while I scoop, I'm gonna tell you some other uses for your young Thai coconut meat. Um, my dog loves it, gotta love that. Sometimes I like to sprinkle blue-green algae like spirulina on it with a little sea salt and dehydrate it in the dehydrator, and it's like, a little chewy snack after a meal, that's delicious. Um, these are dehydrated when I'm making, and I'm not a big fan of eating too much dehydrated food because I think too much dehydrated food dehydrates us. But, um, you know, on occasion, it's fine. So what I have here, I'm just gonna do the quick version. I would normally do three or four Young Thai coconuts. You just kind of want to make sure all the brown stuff is off, all the sharp edges are off of the, uh, of the coconut like that. That's just kind of the husk. And just peel them like so. And all I do here is I take the coconut and put it in the Vitamix. I take a little bit of turmeric powder. Turmeric powder is so amazing for uh, inflammation. Turmeric powder is great. And a little bit of kelp granules, which is great for your thyroid. I'm actually not, well, I'm not gonna blend it today. I'm just gonna tell you, because I'm gonna scoop all of these coconuts you see here and put it in. But I would just blend this, and then if you have a dehydrating tray, great. If you don't, you could just use a, a flat plate and put them in the sun to bake. But I'll blend it, and I'll pour it on a dehydrating tray, and what it makes is a wrap that you can stuff with greens and eat it like a sandwich. Yum! So I'll definitely take a picture of it and post it um, on my Facebook wall. I'm Andrea Cox with TheHealthyHaven.net. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hey, hit the like button. All right? I've got like no likes. It's really upsetting me. So you don't want to see me cry. Be well.